Hi friend, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting. And today we're gonna talk all about how to use items that are not your standard looking pixel nodes in your display. So one of the things you might see, maybe you watch Great Christmas Light Fight or something else is you see people that have all kinds of different things in their displays, right? Just the craziest things. You know, some of them potentially kind of dangerous, but really cool, you know, moving props and different types of lights, you know, headlights and all kinds of stuff. How does this stuff work? Well, uh, you know, in the past when people make this stuff work, there's a lot of hacking together to make it happen. But today there's never been a more full toolkit of things that you could use to use unconventional, that is non-regular Christmas light pixels in your lighting. Okay, so the very first one I have here is a floodlight. Now, we'll include some video here as well of these floods on some trees around my yard. Um, and these floodlights are great. I got these ones from Wally's Lights, but there's tons of places you can get them. Um, and the cool thing about them is if you buy a flood that is a pixel-based flood, there's really no extra configuration. Okay, so this guy here has X-Connect connectors on them. So they plug in to a regular pixel controller. It's just, instead of taking like 0.6 watts, it takes 30 watts. Uh, they're typically available in 10 to 30 watts and they work really well. When it comes to modeling them in X lights, we'll dive into the computer here and show you, you can make them however you want. You could literally make them as an individual pixel. Um, I like to use the floodlight model. Um, you can use the DMX uh, floodlight, it'll work just fine. Um, as long as you go in here with any DMX item, um, you make it three channels, you make it red, green, blue, and then all you've got to do other than that is set up the controller connection normally. Okay. So say I go and I set up the controller connection there and it's after, let's see, I'm just going to put it on a controller. Then it really doesn't matter. Uh, whether it's actually D a DMX output or not, because in this case, it's just a regular pixel. Um, but the handy thing is that then it shows up and it does show up in the sequencer. Like if I go create a new sequence and we find it, boom, right here. Just go ahead and uh, turn it on. And then you see here on the preview on the model or the main, you get this little poof of light. It doesn't quite look like a DMX flood, but you know, it's not bad. And again, as long as in the layout tab um, at the bottom, the uh, it's all set up under the uh, controller connection as WS2811, even though it's the DMX flood um, model from the DMX section, it will work with regular good old floods. Okay, so that's the first way. Next way to get non-standard items to work within X lights is Pixel 2 things. So uh, David Peace uh, makes these items and they come through experience lights now. Um, and Pixel 2 things is a really cool concept and one that we keep seeing more of. In fact, I saw another company recently that had a Pixel to Fog machine uh, set up. It, it was not from David Peace's company, but it worked with a lot of the popular Fog machines out there. Um, but the Pixel 2 thing, getting ahead of myself here, is a really cool way to be able to set up all sorts of items as a Pixel in X lights. So all of these items work within your run of pixels. And the cool thing about these is the circuit boards, you know, the actual control pixel two things controllers generally take in power separate. And so you could put this at the end of a run of pixels where you would do power injection anyways. And then this guy's got its own power and you know, it's fine. Um, so they've got a couple here. They've, they've got right now the pixel two AC three, uh, ready to run. I was thinking about buying one of these. They look really cool. Um, they have Pixel 2 servo motors. Those are uh, motors that, that spin, basically, and, and move things uh, for animatronics. People like to use those. Um, there's also a uh, Raspberry Pi input extender kit for people that do triggery stuff. That's not really the same thing. Um, but there's also, this one's cool. They've got the Pixel 2 DC. So that's for um, any DC items. So um, little motors and things like that the Pixel 2 P10, 
which allows people to basically make a small um, pixel panel. Like people like to use these for their tune two signs using one of those P10 panels. And this allows you to do, let's see how much it allows you to do. I mean, it allows you to do one or two P10 panels, but run them as pixels from your pixel controller. Um, super neat. And, um, and it receives power and data from your pixels. It's just like, boom. Nice and easy, no funky configuration, no color light card or any of that weirdness. Um, it's small, but it works for those kinds of things. Uh, then there's also the Pixel 2 AC and DC, but I believe these ones are discontinued, or at least the DC one, the AC one is, I don't remember. Pixel 2 things. We'll be covering more on these because I think they're really cool, um, but... For now, just know that they're there um, and that they allow you to do some really neat stuff. Just be able to control oddball items. You know, between these few Pixel 2 things boards here, you can control pretty much any device that takes power. Um, if it's AC or DC or whatever, it's going to work. Okay, um, so that's Pixel 2 things. And then the last way to control things is DMX lights. So you guys have definitely seen me here talk about things like the Dominar beam where uh, we go and we've, we've got these beam fixtures for sale. Um, you can buy them, you can put them on your roof like I am this year, and you can have a beam fixture on your roof to get that really popular, really cool beam look. Uh, but it doesn't stop there. You can also get lights like floodlights. They're called LED PARs that shoot a, a fairly narrow beam of light up your tree. Uh, and there are all kinds of DMX lights out there, okay? But did you know you can control them without any other hardware? Yeah. Pretty much any pixel controller you get today, like this is a Falcon F4, um, the new V4 Falcons, the Culps, um, all of them have somewhere on them a DMX output. Uh, and they're typically either an RJ45 jack like this, or just green terminal blocks that you tie the wires into like pixel pigtails okay and the cool thing about that is that means you can control any dmx light from nx lights um, a variety of ways uh, without having to get any additional hardware now the benefit here um, especially when we're talking about with like floods and stuff is if you're going to put out like a ton of floods you might consider DMX lights, uh, or if you just want something different, uh, moving lights, you might want those. But the cool thing about them is that the power comes separate from the data. So when you're dealing with really high powered stuff, um, instead of having a bunch of power supplies and power injecting constantly, you don't have to do that because DMX devices just take their power separate from their data. Um, there's a few other caveats, but they're generally pretty simple. And in X lights, all you gotta do is instead of making it WS2811, you go ahead and you just make it DMX, at which point it's gonna use the output on the controller, upload it, and be done. It's, it's a, it, ten, it really tends to work quite well and just gives you another way to get some great control out of things. So what do you think? Did you learn something new today? Yeah, there are additional different ways, things that you can get control of in x lights that you might not have ever thought of before outside of the typical pixel. If uh, you enjoyed this look at those items, let me know down below and uh, stay tuned this month. I'm going to do a couple examples. Just go buy some stuff and show you how to control it from X lights step by step. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So be sure to subscribe to check that. Thanks so much. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Thanks.